everyone. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Please subscribe and click the bell button so that we can notify you for our next videos. Our lesson for today is evaluating algebraic expressions. The process of substituting the value of x or the variable in the algebraic expression is what we call evaluation. Okay, let me give you examples on how to do this. Number one, what is the value of 2x minus 4 when x is equal to 1 4? So we have a negative 3 and a half, b negative 2, c 1 and a half, and b is 2. Now, all we have to do is to substitute the value of x in the given algebraic expression. So in this case, we have here 2x minus 4, substitute x equals 1 fourth. So this is 2 times 1 fourth minus 4. Then, always apply the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS. What is PEMDAS or GEMDAS again? You do all the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. From left to right, whichever comes first. So in this case, you have to multiply these two first. So we know too well that 2 is 2 over 1 times 1 over 4 minus 4. So this will cancel with this. 2 divided by 2 will give you a 1. 4 divided by 2 will give you a 2. So this is now 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 2 is 2, 1 half minus 4. Now, here you can get this, this in two different ways. So this is negative 4. So this is the same as negative 4 plus 1 half. So it will give you negative 3 plus 2 halves. Remember, 2 halves is just 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. We better do this. Negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4, plus 1 half. So this 2 will give you negative 3 plus negative 1 half or negative 3 and a half. There. So the answer is letter A. Now, let's proceed to problem number two. When evaluated, what is 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 when x is equal to 1 half? Same thing happens here. Apply PEMDAS. Substitute the value of x equals 1 half. So we have here 3, 1 half squared minus 2 times 1 half plus 3. Then, PEMDAS tells us to do the exponents first. So, this is now 3 times 1 half squared means 1 half times 1 half. Let me write that as a note. 1 half squared is equal to 1 half times 1 half. So, this will give you 1 over 4. Let's write here 1 over 4 minus 2 times 1 half. This means 2 over 1, so you just cancel this. 2 over 2 is 1 plus 3. So now, multiply these two first. So this is now understood to be 3 over 1. 3 times 1 is 3 over 1 times 4 is 4. There, we can add this 2 because... We do not have multiplication anymore. 3 plus negative 1 will give us a positive 2. And 2 plus 3 fourths is simply 2 and 3 fourths. There. So we have here our answer to be 2 plus 3, 2 and 3 fourths. So our correct answer is letter C. By the way, when you're adding a whole number and a fraction provided the signs are the same, you can simply mix them. 
So we get 2 plus 3 fourths is 2 and 3 fourths. So if you have 1 plus 1 half will give you 1 and a half. If you have, let's say, 2 plus 1 fifth, that will give you 2 and 1 fifth. Okay, let's proceed to number 3a. Evaluate x squared minus 3 all over x when x is equal to negative 3. There. So again, we always follow the PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. From left to right, whichever comes first. Take note that this algebraic expression is a monomial. So we have to do it this way. We substitute the value, so x squared minus 3 all over x will give us negative 3 quantity squared minus 3 all over negative 3. There, you just substituted the values of negative 3 to x. So this gives you negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 minus 3 all over negative 3. As you can see, I was retaining the algebraic expression as a monomial. So 9 minus 3 is 6 all over negative 3 is 6 over 3 is 2. But there is a negative sign, so our answer is negative 2. So the correct answer here is letter B. Let's proceed to number 4. After evaluation at x is equal to negative 3 halves, what is the value of 4x squared minus 1 all over 2x plus 1? Now, you can directly substitute the value of x which is negative 3 halves. But I'm going to show you first a shorter solution. The shortcut is this. You see that 4x squared minus 1 is factorable. So you can factor this as a difference of two squares. So the factors are 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. All over 2x plus 1. There. Do you see now that something can be canceled? Here, we can cancel 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. That will give us 1. So we are left with 2x minus 1. And then, since this is already simplified as 2x minus 1, you can now substitute the values of x or the value of x, which is negative 3 halves. So negative 3 over 2 minus 1. So this is 2x minus 1. As you can see, 2 over 2 can be cancelled. So you're left with negative 3 minus 1 or negative 4. There. So the answer is negative 4. Now, let's go the long way. Let us say you didn't notice that 4x squared minus 1 is factorable and you went straight evaluating the expression. That is okay. So we do it this way. So we have here 4x, substitute the value of x, which is negative 3 halves, squared minus 1, all over 2x. Again, x here is negative 3 halves plus 1. There, so it's okay. So we have here 4 times negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 over 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 all over, you can now cancel this directly, so that's negative 3 plus 1. This will give you a negative 2. So continue, 4 cancels with 4, so you're left with 9 minus 1 all over negative 2. 9 minus 1 is positive 8 all over negative 2. So you get a final answer of negative 4. As you can see, we get the same answer, but this is just longer. Now, I have a game or contest for you. 
we have a problem here. When evaluated, what is 4x cubed minus 2 over x minus 2 when x equals 1 half? The game is this. You try to solve this and then please write your answer in the comment. The reward is the first one who will write the correct answer in the comment will be recognized in my next video. Before we end, don't forget to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you.